Hello everybody. Today we have a 2005 Sea Swirl Striper 2901 doing a little flyby here. It is for sale. It has twin Suzuki 250s. It is 29 feet in overall length, about 10 and a half feet of beam. The boat comes with a Lumar bow thruster. The boat has been freshly bottom painted, the hull freshly waxed, the top side has also been waxed, all in preparation of the 2022 season. The motors have been fully tuned up for the season, which includes replacement of the water pumps, spark plugs, fuel filters, fuel water separators, lower unit oil, motor oil, and filter, and of course the motor zincs as well. The props are stainless steel. The boat also has a diving swim ladder. Here's a different look at the Suzuki 250s from the inside of the cockpit area. This is a live well. It holds 26 gallons, plenty big for your baits or even small fish. On port and starboard side, there are large fish boxes. Both of them have macerator pumps hooked up to them. And they are also plenty big for um, large fish, tuna, large bass, things like that, or uh, fenders as I'm using them now for, for some storage. Under the uh, gunnel, there's room for uh, six rods or boat poles, what have you, three per side. On the port side, there is a saltwater outlet, which you can hook up a hose. And then in the rear of the boat, we also have a freshwater inlet. So that way you don't have to just run off the water tank. There are three rod holders on each side of the gunnel, and then three more on each side of the support for the hard top, making 12 rod holders in total on the boat. Port and starboard outriggers, fully functional. The boat has two 30 amp hookups. In my experience, you can run most of the boat on one 30 amp hookup using the crossover, which is built into the panel, which is very nice. And then on the starboard side, we have the water tank fill and the water tank holds 26 gallons. Okay, here we are on the bow. The antenna is new two years ago. We also have a Garmin radar array. You can also probably tell that the canvas is all new. There's standard 40 millimeter Ising glass on both the sides and rear with polycarbonate in the front. The polycarbonate is truly amazing. Uh, you have fantastic visibility in bad weather situations. Uh, as well as night situations, uh, it, it makes driving with that uh, canvas up really a, a delight. Here we have a porthole over the forward berth. To port and starboard on either side here, we have foot pedal control for the windlass. The windlass is a Lumar windlass. It's new in 2020. The anchor is equipped with 30 feet of chain and a 300 foot road, which is more than enough to hold the boat securely uh, in, in various weather conditions. Now I'm going to walk you down the side, uh, the starboard side, so you can see how clear and beautiful the eyes and glass is. In the cockpit, we have a forward-facing seat, which fits two very comfortably. To open it, you pull on the handle and it slides into place. After undoing two latches, you can pull up on the seat to reveal access to the bilge. The battery switches are up top and the battery is down in the bottom. There are two starting batteries, which were replaced in 2021, and two house batteries, which were replaced this year in 2022. Okay, moving forward now towards the cockpit area, we have 
our seating. We have, of course, the captain's chair, as well as a single seat behind the captain's chair. It's a double seat over to the port side, as well as a double rear-facing bench as well. I'll show you here. This uh, rear-facing bench underneath has plenty of room for storage. I've used it as a cooler before, loaded up with ice, your drinks, what have you. Uh, it's great for, for trips and things. This way you don't have to have a cooler on deck if you so choose. Uh, it's also great for storage. Okay, now over to the other side. Although you could use this one as well for a cooler if you like. Uh, I don't believe either are insulated for a cooler, but I can tell you from firsthand experience they work. Um, here I have some lines and, and things that I keep there, a nice deep well as well. Under uh, the step here, walking up to the cockpit, is another area of storage. So I have this one pretty loaded up. It's about three feet deep. You can kind of see I got a couple buckets in there. It's pretty wide and it goes that way as well. Hard to see on camera. But uh, that was a housing for a generator. Okay, now to the helm. We have a couple of Garmin units here. Brand new fish finder, installed 2022. The other one pooped out on me at the end of last year. Really beautiful five inch display there. Um, really excited uh, about that. Came out really nice. The um, chart plotter is a 12 inch chart plotter. And that uh, is great for navigating. It also does, uh, it has its own independent transducer. That's a through hull, different from the fish finder. So you get two uh, bottom readings, which is nice. Um, then you also have the radio over here. The radio is new uh, with the antenna two years ago. Has AIS, uh, really fantastic standard horizon. I like them a lot. Um, also included in the, um, in the chart plotter, it has uh, radar. So that's great for, for navigating, of course. We have a bow thruster, really simple to use, really nice in a tight spot, docking, uh, backing in, or, or going broadside to a, um, to a dock, it, it, it makes it so much easier. Here is our windlass control. So I showed you the foot controls. This is the, the control from the helm. We also have the spotlight control here. Under the captain's seat, you have a step, which is really nice, as well, or a footrest, I guess, as well as a nice uh, storage compartment under here. The captain's seat also has this bolster that, that goes up and down, nice in the standing position to have it up and uh, in the seated position to have it down. Okay, this is the twin twin seat on the port side beneath it we have some storage so i usually go with some safety equipment in there i think i got some sinkers down at the bottom close that up and here we have some storage for some uh tackle holders one other thing i wanted to mention was in the cockpit you have these steps that you can open up this glass you just spin these to an open position obviously if you didn't have this on and then uh, this opens up and you can go out to the bow that way or show you around this side. You can also walk up the, the gunnel, of course. Nice stainless steel uh, bow railings while we're here. Uh, nice and thick, very secure to hold on to. Of course, you can hold on to the hard top as well. There's nice handholds the whole way up the bow. Going down now into the cabin, Immediately on the port side, you see the galley area, which I'll bring you down into now. Okay, the galley is equipped with a single hot plate that can be run on alcohol or electric. I've only ever run it on, on electric, but uh, really nice making up some food there while we're traveling. We have um, a sink, some storage compartments underneath, microwave, Here's the electrical panel. Okay, I'll pause on this for a quick second so you guys can take a look. Then we also have here, we have our AC controls, which you can see there, AC and heat. Then we have some light controls as well. 
here we have an updated Kenwood uh, radio deck. It has Bluetooth uh, capabilities, which is really nice upgrade. Um, I also changed some of the speakers, which this is an awkward angle, but uh, the speakers under the under the hard top are new. Okay, here is the twin uh, front berth. Kind of hard to get in frame there, but uh, sleeps too comfortably. My wife and I have done many a day away on this. We have some storage here as well. Some lights, uh, I'm sorry, some port lights. Uh, a, um, this is the, the hatch that we were talking about before. Some more port lights off to the port side. Uh, under the bed, we also have, uh, under this mat, there is uh, a spot for a table. And I do have the table that goes along with that. So that's included, of course. Then moving on to the head. Uh, it is a full-size head, standing room. I am 6'1", and I fit very comfortably. The boat's equipped with a 6-gallon hot water heater, which is more than enough to take a nice shower. There is a vacuum flush head that has a 12-gallon waste tank. Um, the sink turns into the shower as well. You clip the faucet up there. You have some storage down here, your toilet paper and what have you. Then you also have storage in here for, uh, you know, toiletries or whatever you like. Okay, now under the stairs, we have a rear berth, an aft berth. It sleeps too, very comfortably. We have a vent as well. That's the AC intake, I believe. You also have a privacy curtain. I haven't brought uh, things down to the boat yet, but I also throw a couple life jackets in there under that uh, under that strap in the back. Then of course we have some room for some fishing pole storage down here as well. We have uh, a new battery here, and uh, this is for the bow thruster. So the battery for this is under the uh, steps coming down into the cabin. Almost forgot to show you the fridge here. Pretty standard size fridge, I'd say. This concludes the tour of the 2005 Sea Swirl Striper 2901. If you have any questions, check the link in the description where you can find the listing on Boat Trader. And don't hesitate to give me a call or comment on the video.